Wisdoms, wisdoms, wisdom keepers, wisdom seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are discussing part two of this video series that is covering the new moon eclipse in Sagittarius taking place at 12 degrees on this Saturday, December 4th early in the manana y'all so this video we're discussing the significance of this eclipse being in sagittarius okay in the last video we discussed the significance of this being an eclipse what is an eclipse right at an astrological level this larger series is brought to you by the promotion of wisdom drops astrology school one year extended container edition i am so very excited to bring this to you as an offer for all of you who are out there looking to seriously take your astrology coaching up a notch and by coaching i mean your astrology awareness your ability to interpret a chart and yes synthesize astrological information apply not only a natal chart interpretation but a mundane interpretation of the heavens at any given moment the ability to apply astrology to plan events to see and witness solar returns in your own life those are birthdays y'all and the life of those around you right and to actually build a business out of this stuff to have clients that you can yes do synastry readings for do composite readings for check their charts from different angles and kick the tires of the the relationship integrity all of those skill sets that i just mentioned synthesizing 12 years now of astrological study on my part right for you this is a unique offer and it's a year long Okay, this is a journey for people who are looking to get serious and to go deep and to apply, apply, apply. I'm a huge believer that for us to actually learn something, especially at an accelerated rate as one year, right? We need to apply. And so my mission is to grow competent astrologers who can have their foundation, right? And feel empowered with the knowledge that they know and the fact check systems that I impart for you, right? In terms of, you know, coming up with your own interpretations so that there can be more people out there who can freely speak you know, an interpretation who can freely create a window into the celestial weather, right? At any moment, right? That's who I want to work with. So if you're passionate and if you're committed, and if you're somebody who's serious about turning this into a potential career for yourself, turning this into a form of income, right? Ultimately, then my business partner and I are launching this program. You can uh, apply it down below. And this is, you know, going to be also building out that business infrastructure, if that's not clear already. So getting your website set up, your email list, your platforms, your social medias, all of the isms and the stuff that you don't want to have to think about. She helps you get that super organized and it keeps you accountable to a calendar. So, you know, you get in, out what you put in, but at the same time, this course is designed where if you keep flowing with us at the tempo and with the specific requests we give to you, right? on the weekly on the monthly you will excel and you will be at an operable level and yes gaining income by the end of this program ooh, ooh, we are so excited information to read the full version of that information down below linkage all of the links down below okay there's a full info page okay moving on we need to talk about boom, boom, sagittarius that's right so let us show this so any good astrologer, right, y'all, in case you're really looking to learn astrology and happen to be on this channel, <laughs> funny, welcome. <laughs> this is going to be important for us as good astrologers, right, to list our uh, items, what's on the menu, what is available, what are we working with, okay, what are our ingredients in the kitchen. So we went through last time, what is an eclipse, the rudiments of that, okay, moving on, the significance of this thing, Sagittarius. Okay, now Sagittarius, we have this karmic new beginning from a place of shedding, aka new moon eclipse on the south node in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is all about what? What do we know about Sagittarius? We got to list it out, right? Right. Fire sign. Duh. Okay, cool. Ruled by Jupiter. Awesome. 
we know a lot about Jupiter, the god of thought, of uh, consciousness, kind of like theological thought, uh, more of a, a, a belief thought, not like a Mercury thought, but the law, the god of uh, abundance and kind of joyous, magnanimous thought, this idea of abundance consciousness, right? That is very Jupiterian and this sort of charisma and this sort of, uh, you know, uh, global awareness or or cultured the sense of culture right and sophistication or higher knowledge or spiritual knowledge all of that is jupiter and therefore all of that is sagittarius sagittarius as yes a fire sign whereas its counterpart ruled by jupiter pisces is a water sign both are mutable as is the next point of Sagittarius, it's mutable. So we have this mutable, we have this fire, we have this Jupiter influence, all of this, okay, plus the ninth sign of the Zodiac, which takes its own story, right? The ninth house is its own house associated with these sorts of spiritual things that are very Jupiterian as it might be. Albeit in ancient astrology, the ninth house is the joy of the sun or the house of God. Uh, you know, very interesting when you look at Hellenistic astrology and layer it in with different forms of wisdom throughout the ages. However, digression aside, this is important to reflect on and internalize as we, as astrologers, interpret Sagittarius and its significance, okay? So it is spiritual, it is philosophical, it is this sort of fire, which means it has a certain zest, it has a spunk, it has a spit, it has a kick, you know what I'm saying? It has a certain spark to it. And with that mutability, Sagittarius, let me tell you, fun guests at the party. Sagittarians are usually funny as hell. They will make some hilarious ass jokes, you know what I'm saying? And if they're in a lower vibration, Sagittarius can be pedantic in sort of judgy sort of way, you know what I'm saying? Or they can be um, a certain like, this is my dogma, this is the way it is, and no other way. Or they can just tell you that that is entirely invalid. Your worldview is bullshit. It's like, who the F is you to have the authority, right? But that is low vibration Sag, okay? Now, in a higher vibration, Sag is the jovial fire Jupiter that is a spiritual wisdom keeper. And they almost have this wisdom from a place of yes, spirit, aka fire, but also a changing up, a certain sense of, okay, now that's cool, we're done here, moving on. That's cool, we're done here, moving on, right? It's this sort of, um, you know, great wildfire um, in the best of sense, not the terrible, terrible ecological sense. It's the, it's the sort of sporadic nature, you know what I'm saying, y'all, of that experience. It's kind of the traveling nature of that is akin and likened to Sagittarius energy. So I just think that, you know, the exploration of philosophy as seen through the arrow is something to witness when we discuss Sag energy. And, you know, the scholars of astrology will point us, <laughs> no pun intended but there it is uh towards such you know conclusions now as i mentioned in the previous video and i'm going to mention it again here for the sake of reading sagittarius i will mention this this is on my to read in more depth later uh video so the next video right but just as a prequel for y'all Jupiter being disposited in Aquarius, we're really going to start to break this down more in the next video, okay, and discuss the significance of that. So thus far, our astrological layers, for those of us staying tuned throughout this whole series, we've done an overview thus far of the significance of an eclipse, and this is being a solar eclipse conjunct the south node. That was video one. Video two was reflecting uh, through this process, right, over the meaning of Sag. So we have a philosophical opportunity is the conclusion of this video. Uh, philosophical being Sagittarian, synthesizing a lot of the Jupiter and the fire that I talked about. Opportunity being a, a deep summary of this new moon conjunct the south node. There is a certain opportunity, right, from that place of shedding. So the synthesis thus far, folks, in video two is that, you know, just that there's an opportunity of philosophy uh, <laughs> available to us. So 
you know, moving on, video three is up and coming, and we're going to be looking at the significance of Jupiter as the dispositor of the Lunation Wisdom Drops Expanded Container Astrology School Edition is officially enrolling, baby. We start in January. Happy 2022, year of the master builder. Did I mention your girl was born on the 22nd? Holla. Thank you to all of you who like this video. And with that said, through next time and till next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.